What's up guys, Turbo Valtriac here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing my review on Beyblade vs. Rise Episode 18, titled Dragon vs. Apocalypse. So, before we start this video, I'm just going to say this video will have spoilers on the episode, but if you guys have not seen the episode yet, I will leave a link in the description below to where you can watch the episode. So, like always, one Rise episode covers two gotcha episodes, so this episode covers episodes 35 and 36 of Beyblade vs. Gotcha. So yeah, let's begin with the analysis. So like always, the episode starts off with the welcome to the world of Beyblade scene, and the narration audio for the new version was fixed. So the story continues from the previous episode where Arthur just destroyed Devlos, and everyone is in shock, especially Delta. So Arthur says there is no light in the world that can overcome the shadows of Apocalypse, and Delta has an extremely upset look on his face, and you can see that Arthur shattered his confidence when breaking Devlos, and then Delta stands up and starts to leave without Devlos. So Dante gets up and grabs Devlos and tries to give it to Delta, but every time he tries, Delta keeps walking off. So once Delta gets to the elevator, Dante grabs Delta's hand and gives him Devlos, and then Delta leaves. So Dante is upset and feels bad for Delta, and the victories run up to Dante, and Dante says that Delta will be back to normal soon, and then Arthur says that Dragon and Genesis will be destroyed next, if they think they have what it takes to battle him. And Dante accepts and he says he would promise to Iger that he would defeat him with their style of blading, and Armin tells Arthur that they will battle tomorrow, and takes off of Dante, and as they leave, Arthur stares at Gwen. So then we get into the opening and tile card, and the next scene takes place later, and Dante was mad because Armin stopped him from battling Arthur, and Armin said he stopped him because he would have lost. So Dante tells Taka to give him a replay of Delta's match with Arthur, and when the victories were watching it, they noticed the center of Apocalypse turned red, and was taking damage at the sword. So after the victories find out how Dante could burst Apocalypse, Gwen admits they were right, but that was also Apocalypse's most dangerous part, since it raises Apocalypse's attack power, and Gwen says that Command Dragon can't defeat Apocalypse, so Dante says that he will just get enough attack power so he can win, and Armin decides they should start training to get Dante ready to defeat Apocalypse. So the next scene takes place later in the day, and we see Delta still upset over Devlos, and he is walking past some kids, training at the stadium he was training at the previous day, and the kid's right arm flies out of the stadium, right in front of Delta, and the kids ask Delta if he could give it to them, but Delta walks away. So then we see Arthur watching the replay of when Gwen defeated Joe, and Arthur's butler robot tells him that there is no tournament data on Gwen, but they found some of Gwen's notes on hyperphysics. So then we see Dante and Armin training, and Dante still wants to do more training, because what they have been doing is nothing compared to Dragon's real power. And then the next scene takes place the next day, and Dante and Arthur's match is about to begin, and then we see Fumia who is watching Dante's match, and talking about how the future of his team rests in the hands of Dante. And then Arthur asks Dante if he came up with a secret plan to burst Apocalypse, and Dante said he did and also found out a way to get past Arthur's burst prevention system. So now we are getting into the battle, which is Dante and Command Dragon versus Arthur and Prime Apocalypse, and both Dante and Arthur start off with powerful launches. So once both bays get into the stadium, Dragon and Apocalypse both head for the center, and Apocalypse hits Dragon, sending it flying. So Dragon hits the stadium wall and takes the upper deck, and Dragon jumps off the upper deck and starts attacking Apocalypse, and the locks on Apocalypse start to move, and the center of the bay turns red. So Dante heats up and we get into Dragon's Avatar, and then Dragon gets into Hyperflux, and then Dante and Dragon get into Ignition Force, and Arthur heats up and we get into Apocalypse's Avatar, and then Apocalypse gets into Dark Flux, and then Arthur and Apocalypse get into Final Blast, and then Dragon and Apocalypse clash, but unlike the last few battles, Dragon's Hyperflux was not absorbed, and Dragon is sent flying out of the stadium, and Arthur takes it first point. So Arthur is mad because he only got a ring out finish on Dragon, and Dante is in shock because he didn't burst Apocalypse, and then part 1 of the episode ends, which was episode 35 of Gachi, and now we are getting into the second half of the episode, which was episode 36 of Gachi, and the name for this part has not been released at the time of recording this video, but since it was called Can It Be Broken The Infinite Lock System in Japan, my guess is that it will be called something like Can It Be Broken Burst Prevention System. So the victories are in shock that Dante lost the first round, and then we see Fumia who is mad because Dante lost the first round. So Dante is getting pumped up and says he is just getting started, and then Armin calls for a timeout so they can come up with a strategy, and when the victories are trying to come up with one, Armin tells Dante to get a ring out finish on Apocalypse to tie the score, but Dante says he can't and has to burst Apocalypse to save their style of blading, so Armin says they will do whatever it takes to make Apocalypse burst. So now we are getting into the second round of the battle, and Dante starts resonating with Dragon, and Dante tells him that Arthur will try to destroy him again, but they have to win and do whatever it takes, and they must do it for Iger, Delta, and the rest of the world. So then we see a transition, and the place turns black and white, with Dragon's avatar behind Dante, and Dragon says they will give it their all. And then we see Gwen, and he says Dante won't be able to burst Apocalypse, and then we see Fumia again, and he says he will never forgive Dante if he loses. 
So now we are getting into the second round of the battle, and once the Dragon gets into the stadium, Dante and Dragon get into Ignition Force, and Dragon's Ignition Driver accelerates. So Arthur and Apocalypse get into Omega Blast, and Dragon and Apocalypse clash, and Dragon is sent flying. So Arthur says that Dante will regret defying him, and Apocalypse starts hitting Dragon every time it starts to land back into the stadium, and Taco believes that Dragon will burst instead of Apocalypse, and then Apocalypse hits Dragon once it gets into the stadium again, and Dragon is sent flying and hits the stadium wall, and Arthur heats up and we get into Apocalypse's avatar, and then Arthur and Apocalypse get into Omega Blast, and then Apocalypse gets into Dark Flux. So once Apocalypse is about to hit Dragon, Dante heats up and Dragon accelerates, and then Dragon gets into Hyper Flux and both bays clash, and Dante says that he will make Dragon's strongest bay in the world, and the wing on Dragon's command base moves. So Apocalypse is sent flying out of the stadium, and Dante takes a second round, and Dante and Arthur are both tied with one point. So Dante says that Dragon has awoken, and Gwen is confused by this, and Tango says that Dragon can now use spring-loaded attacks. And Dante and Dragon both say they will end the next round in a burst finish, and Arthur says that this is unforgivable for knocking Apocalypse out, and fire appears around Dante and Arthur, and both Dante and Arthur say they will burst each other. So when Taka asks Armin if Dante will be okay, Gwen says Apocalypse isn't done, and now we are getting into the third round of the battle, and Dante and Arthur both start off with powerful launches. So Dragon and Apocalypse start attacking each other at the center, and Dragon and Apocalypse are both knocked away and land on the upper deck, and both bays start clashing into each other on the upper deck, and the locks on Apocalypse move, and the center of the bay turns red. So Dante heats up and we get into Dragon's avatar, and then Arthur heats up and we get into Apocalypse's avatar, and then Dragon gets into Hyper Flux and Apocalypse gets into Dark Flux, and then Dante and Dragon get into Ignition Force, and then Arthur says that he never loses, and then Arthur and Apocalypse get into Prime Reboot, and Dragon and Apocalypse clash at the center, and then Arthur and Apocalypse get into Final Blast, and Dragon is not away, and then Dante and Dragon get into Wing Recoil, which was originally Bound Wing in Japan, and Dragon uses its wing to slingshot itself off the stadium wall at Apocalypse, and Dragon and Apocalypse clash, and the sword on Apocalypse is pushed in, and the locks move, and Apocalypse bursts, so Dante wins the battle. So the victories tackle Dante and celebrate his victory, and then we see Fumia who is crying tears of happiness and says he never doubted Dante, and the members of Inferno are shocked that Arthur lost, and then we see Gwen who is impressed by Dante's performance. And then the next scene takes place where we see Delta still upset over Devlos and he arrives at BC Soul. And then we see Vault who is behind Delta and he welcomes Delta back and the episode ends. So anyways, Dragon vs. Apocalypse was a good episode and I did enjoy it and the battle between Dante and Arthur was also really good. And the animation in this episode was really good, especially in the second half of the episode, I thought that was done really well. And I also like how the beginning of the episode was emotional with Delta being upset over Devlos because of the fact that it changes the mood of the episode. And I was also glad to see Vault return this episode since he hasn't made a physical appearance since episode 7 of the season. So anyways, in the next review I'll be going over episode 19, which at the time of recording this video, the name and date of the English episode has not been officially confirmed, but it will most likely be called Dragon vs Genesis since that's what it was called in Japan, and Dante will finally have his battle with Gwen in the next episode. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this review, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, Please subscribe, please follow me on social media, links will be in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.